Welcome, folks. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make a difference. Market-wise out here, we have the Dow Industrials up 117, NASDAQ up 99, S&P's up 24. Gold, gold contract down $8.80, trading at eighteen eighty-two an ounce. We have silver up uh, eight cents, twenty-two dollars eighty-one cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down two bucks, ninety-one dollars sixty-eight cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up nine ticks, trading one hundred seven twenty-eight. The thirty-year up three at one thirteen eighteen. And king dollar, king dollar, trading down four hundred and thirty-five ticks at one hundred six two thirty-one. The euro is at one hundred five. The yen's out here at one forty-nine. The British pound is at one twenty-one to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of uh, Tom O'Brien, folks, I can't. I'm trying to shake this freaking sore. I don't have a sore throat anymore, but I just there's something that's just still lingering there. Anyway, that's why I don't hear the growl. That's why I don't hear the inflection. Because if I do it, then I don't have no voice. Anyway, so here's the spy. Bottom line, we, what we did with the spy is that we came down to the breakout area. And, you know, we had some good volume here yesterday. It did 104 million shares, and you were going into 100 and... You're actually going into 88 million and 92 million. So that's saying that this is going to get retested here. You're going up today on light volume with 68 million. So we'll see how this shakes out, what kind of a bounce they can get going. But this is not done coming on the way down. We've got to take a look at the queues. Now, the queues are set up differently, for sure, because what happened with the queues is that... They broke their swing, but only for one day. So the cues are showing they're strong. And when they broke the swing, they broke the swing. Let me see. I believe it was a light of volume. So we get 56. Yeah, 56 versus 61. So you broke that swing with light of volume. You rejected lower price, and then we're at 44 million today. So this is going to get a little juice coming into it today. We do notes and bonds. All these are moving together again. You know, well, they've been moving together for quite some time. The, the note and bond markets were moving with the dollar. Dollar goes up, note and bonds go down. Note and bonds go up, dollar goes down. Dollar goes up, market goes down. You get the 10-year right now. We hit 107.07 today. So that would give us, let's see what this is brought to the 10-year yield. So we hit 4.591. That's a, that's a pretty big number. And then if we get over and we do look at King Dollar, well, you know, let's go to the gold market first because gold had been smoking for sure. So if we take a look at gold, gold was on an ABC structure down. You're at 1881. So you definitely got more than a one-to-one -one ABC structure down. Now let me put this GC1 on a continuous contract. GC1. Okay, Let's see where our next level is laying out here. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you've already went by the strength that was established in March. That's when, you know, one week gold went from the 1875 to 1992. So that means you can go to the bottom of that range, which is uh, 1810. And right now, you're at uh, 1868, 63. And then if we get over and take a look at the dollar, you know, you can see the dollar gave it up a bit today. It looks to me, though, this dollar does want to get into this swing point right here. Hasn't hit it yet, you know. The So the low of the downdraft was the 106261 area. 281 area. So what does happen is this, is that if that's, you know, where it wanted to test and then we gave it up, the real key is going to be the type of follow through that we get. I think the dollar has been so strong that more than likely you're going to probably try to go to the swing point. And you can see that the, the the amazing part is that the correlation, the correlation is so clean, it's insane. 
some of the higher volume stocks inside the, uh, well, let's go inside the NDX first. You get Sirius Satellite, well, that's a, that caught a bid. That's up 13%. Uh, you get AMD up 4.5%, and, a half percent, and they, come, they come in with bad numbers. <laughs> that's interesting. Dexcom's up 33 and Marvell's up 3 Taken away from it, Workday's down 9, 9%, 9%, 9%, holy cow. You get Micron Tech off 4%, Warner Brothers off 2 Let's go to Workday for a second. Let's take a look at this. So Workday, the low for the year is 128. The high is 252. You're trading at 209. That's a gap away. Yeah, it's going to down and fill this whole window. Holy cow. Yep. That's quite a, quite a move in the way down. We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point-wise, what we have out here is this. You get it, uh, United Health putting 43 positive points, Caterpillar 28, Goldman 24, Home Depot 14. Taken away from it, Boeing 27, IBM 10, Procter & Gamble 7, 7 7.5. Now, if we do look at the Dow Industrials, what you're going to see in the Dow, this is like a whole different chart compared to the S&P and the NASDAQ. You know, when you take a look at this, you're going to see that, you know, we've been going sideways for quite some time here, man. You know, it kind of never made it as high as the other ones. And what you are doing, though, is that you're coming into huge volume on those two monthly spikes on the way down. So those two spikes, they're going to have, you know, a hard time basically getting through that. Well, it's going to get, uh, you know, so if anyone's doing real estate transaction using an FHA or a VA loan, you want to have a real heads up here because if the government does shut down on October 1st, right? The way this works, folks, is that it won't hit the FHA and VA loans right away. But within 10 to 14 days, it will. So if you're in that, try to accelerate the close on the deal because that is a whole different ballgame, meaning that, the, you know, you want to get in for that close. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow up 137, NASDAQ's up 122, S&P's up 29. We'll come right back.